up. All right, CJ, good work. So we got the Jefferson lift here. This is a rare one. Not many people do this. Why do you do it, and who did you get it from? Well, uh, the why is uh, basically after I get some of my mass builders done with the hamstring and glutes, what I want to do is get fine-tuned movements, some of those smaller muscle strands, adductors, uh, inner, inner thigh, uh, glutes, all that stuff that's kind of forgotten. I don't want to forget about it. And uh, it's just a lot of concentration and uh, gets that fine-tuned muscle once so you You're really closer. feeling it everywhere throughout the yeah. quad, glute, hamstring, yeah, everything. Yeah, just about everywhere. And who gave you this idea? Where did you see that one from? Oh, uh, some of my uh, internet research, Kai Green, guys like Kai that. Kai Green. <laughs> Charles Glass, different things yeah. like that. Just kind of do my own little research sometimes when I'm that's trying good, to grow. That's good. Obviously, it's done Kai good. He's got some phenomenal legs. Yeah, some now, of the best. Tell us about a little bit about your competitive background now. Uh, what a, I got started dieting uh, to prepare for Ironman 2010 up here with uh, Craig Productions. And uh, came in middleweight open, third place at my first show. And uh, getting ready to get into Vancouver. And you were very light metal, right? You were yeah. real close to making a yeah. lightweight class. You know, first show, first show just had to get that body fat knocked off right. and just get down. So I ended up being a little lighter than I wanted to in the middleweight, but and this you time still coming done. back heavier, more muscle. And you still got third at 156 pounds or something yeah. right, at, yeah. right at the cutoff. So. Yeah, just missed the lightweight. All right, so you had how long off season now did you go up? Uh, about three months. I packed on somewhere between between fat and muscle, more muscle, of course, somewhere about 30, 40 pounds. Wow. Good rebound after your first show. Yeah. I found out the hard way, like, what is going on? <laughs> and uh, it paid off, because here I go. All right, well, I'll let you out. finish this up, man. Yeah, here talk I go. to you in a minute. Yep. All right, CJ. Great leg workout. I know that you're in the, you were in the military. I want to thank you for your service to our country. I really appreciate that from my heart. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks. And uh, just tell us a little bit about about your background in the military. And yeah, I went in the uh, U.S. Marine Corps, 17, and I did nine years. Served a tour as a recruiter over in Connecticut and also in. Uh, in Iraq as well, so a veteran as well. So you've seen a lot in nine years. Yeah, yeah, more than some 27-year-olds, you know? Yeah, so you're more worldly experienced. That's good. I'm yeah, sure it, it caused you to on grow you. up a lot and mature. Yeah, it put some age on you. I feel, feel 34 almost, but I'm 27. Yeah, all right, well, it's, we're glad to have you in the bodybuilding world and out here in the Northwest. I know you came up from San Diego, did you? San Diego, yeah. So now you're in the Northwest, you're a native. You a Seahawk fan now? I <laughs> uh, wouldn't go that far. I'm a Steeler, Steeler guy. All right, so we lost all right. the Super Bowl, so we got to get one back. All right, all right. So tell us a little bit about yeah, what you think about the Emerald Cup and why you chose to do the Emerald Cup. 
Oh man, ever since I uh, had moved up here, all I've been hearing about is Emerald Cup, Emerald Cup. And I've been living on the West Coast for a while, for years as well. And, and uh, it's, I hear it's one of the biggest shows out here in the whole West Coast. And uh, I even know some guys coming from Florida, Utah, guys coming from all over for this show. So glad to be a part of it. Look to do pretty well in the middleweight class. Right on, it's gonna be an awesome show this year. We got a lot yeah. of good competition, guys always coming back hungry. Tell us a little bit about your diet too, how you've changed from what you did, you know, previously for the Ironman this year and what you're doing. Are you experimenting? Yeah. Well, uh, they say sometimes the hardest diet to, to get down pat is your, your sophomore diet, your second show, because you get that complacency sometimes. But I tried to keep the hunger. Uh, I go through uh, what we call construction zone, one of the Northwest uh, elite uh, dietitians up there, nutritionists and personal training. And uh, Pete Grubbs kind of dials my diet in pretty good and always adjusting something with my body starts to get used to it. So constant variations with the diet. So I let him take care of the hard stuff and I just focus on training, sleeping and cooking. All right, sounds like you got it together. Well, that's another episode of Quest for the Cup 2011. We're four weeks out, we're gonna see you there. CJ Harris, Tony Ruggiero, we're out.